Hi everyone! Today I'm on the Columbia University campus. I already had a campus tour, we were able to look around, visit engineering laboratories and, most importantly, learn the nuances of admission to bachelor's programs at this university, which I will now tell you about. Columbia University is now ranked the third among all American universities, so I think you already understood it is rather difficult to get admitted here. At the same time, only 6 out of 100 people are admitted here, that is, the acceptance rate is very low here. It is very selective and in order to get admitted you need to work very hard. So, what does it take for an international student to get in? First and foremost, you need to meet deadlines. At the Columbia University there are two deadlines. The first deadline is the early action deadline, and it usually takes place on the 1st of November. The second deadline is around the end of December, it changes slightly every year. I must say, if you apply for the early admission deadline, your acceptance chances will be much higher. According to statistics, the secret one, this is already 17% and not 6 of the standard deadline. So prepare your documents in advance, pass all the tests and apply early action. First of all, you need to fill out a common application. Also, they have a complimentary questionnaire that must be filled out by all students. It's like a short form where you provide a little more information about yourself. Information about your volunteer projects, your extracurricular activities. Maybe you were the president of a school or you organized an event or did some scientific research. All this you're adding to this questionnaire. So in order to fill out the application you need the following. The first is your grades for the last 2-3 years of study. Your GPA should be extremely high, because, as I said, the school is very selective. The second is standardized testings. You can choose to take SAT or ACT. The university doesn't give more preference to one test or another, so you can pass any of them. Moreover, since you are an international student, you must prove that your level of English is enough to study at this kind of university. You can prove it in two ways. First, you can gain a good score for writing in the SAT. Then your level is considered sufficient to study. But if your level does not reach the needed grade, you can find it on the university website. Then you need to take IELTS or TAFL. A passing score on the TAFL for university admission is 100 points and for IELTS is 7.0, which is pretty high results. If your English isn't good enough, then you either need to finish your studies at home or you can go to preliminary English courses in the States. Except for what I just listed, you will also need recommendation letters from teachers. Typically, for all fields except engineering, you will need recommendation letters from teachers in any subject. But if you are applying to engineering, you will definitely need a recommendation letter from a teacher in the mathematics or physics. Also, the key to successful admission is your motivation letter. Don't put it off until the very last minute, because it's quite capacious, it takes a long time to write, not overnight. In this letter, you need to provide all the details about what you are going to do in the future. What already makes you special to enter such an outstanding university? 
all you want to say about yourself, all your achievements at the moment, all this you need to fit into a single letter as briefly and as fully as possible. So the admission committee understood why they should select you. I'm Mr. Meeseeks! Look at me! This is the main thing that you will need to apply to the Columbia University. But some applicants await an additional stage, an interview. I'll say right away that the interview is not assigned to everyone, but only to those to whom the admission committee has questions. Accordingly, if you didn't receive an invitation for an interview, this doesn't mean that your application won't be approved and you won't be admitted to the university. This is just an additional step for some candidates about whom the admission committee wants to know a little more. Columbia University is a very interesting university. It's not only high-ranked as it occupies top positions in engineering, business, and that it's one of the top universities in the USA and the world. Also, it's located in such a dynamic city. The city of New York. And this is truly a place of opportunities, both educational and for the future career. I hope you enjoyed my video and it was useful for you. Hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Until next time!